Hello everyone, John Stanko here and welcome back to the 8U Report. We took a little bit of a hiatus over the winter break, but the America East basketball programs, they've been in action throughout the winter. They put together some fantastic plays, but let's look back on the past week and pick out our top five. UMass Lowell's leading scorer, Shannon Samuels, evades the UMBC defender and acrobatically lays in the finger roll. Nothing prettier than a well-run fast break. Hartford's Alonzo Moore and Morgan Lum showed off how both U-Hart's men and women's side thrive in transition. Justin McFadden diddy bopped his way into the lane and then found Romello Walker with a nice dish for the two-handed slam. Jordan Grant would not be denied. Grant drove the lane and somehow split two New Hampshire defenders and spun it in off the glass for a pretty finish that gave the Retrievers the halftime lead over the Wildcats. U Albany was able to remain unbeaten in conference play when Sam Rowley made this last second hook shot to lift the Great Danes over the New Hampshire Wildcats. America East schools will be promoting You Can Play Nights throughout the months of January and February. Be on the lookout for the co-branded shooting shirts that the home teams will be wearing during warm-ups. America East was the first. The first. Division I conference to partner with the You Can Play Project. In America East, athletes are judged on work ethic, heart, talent, what you do on the field. And not sexual orientation. If you can play, you can play at UAlbany. Binghamton. You can play at Hartford. Maine, UMBC, UMass Lowell, UNH, Stony Brook, Vermont. If, if you, you can, can play, play, you can, you can play, play in America, America East. As you may or may not know, the America East office has moved across the river into Boston, and we look to have a new studio set up for you shortly. That'll do it for this edition of the 8U Report. Be sure to stay up to date on all America East action on AmericaEast.tv.